This is, a, this is a housing need here in the city of Pawtucket. And we have 700 or so residents that were living here before and will continue to live here today. And not only are we, pr we providing upgrades in terms of um, building envelope and windows and doors, but also benefits like outdoor amenity space and updated laundry facilities and new kitchens and bathrooms. So why this project and what attracted us to this was really the ability to create change and to create long-term, sustainable, really safe, really healthy, and long-term housing for the residents that live here. How often do you come across a public housing project that's historic? These were original residential buildings that have now have this new use as affordable housing, and then they have the historic component. Ground was broken for this property in September of 1940 and Rhode Island had successively weathered the collapse of textile in the 20s, which hit Pawtucket like a ton of bricks, uh, the Great Depression, and then the 1938 hurricane, all you know, in immediate succession. Considering the circumstances people were living in, this place was the Emerald City. It was, you know, think about it, this is just a year after the Wizard of Oz came out. I think that Prospect Heights, with the orderly arrangement of these two-story buildings, the landscaping, incredible ventilation and the penetration of sunlight, after what these folks had been living in, this place uh, was just magical. Uh, the fact that we had Omni Development and Wynn Corporations um, and also the Public Housing Authority playing a role all working together. So you had this public entity, uh, this nonprofit entity, and then you had a management company who had been doing this type of work of development as well for many years, all coming together to want to improve a property. It was very critical for, for the partnership to take advantage of the RAD funds, which is the Rental Assistance Demonstration Program, and that allows you to be able to develop and, and preserve public housing developments and it allows us to be able to continue to maintain the development because of the partnership that was created. Because we did rehab, we were either able to move the people back to the unit they came from or it was a good opportunity where we were able to put them in a right-sized apartment. I'd have to say the majority of the tenants were very pleased when they moved back. They had new refrigerators, appliances, stoves. The bathrooms were completely redone. There were new LED lighting, which really uh, improved the look of the unit. So we've always referred to this project as a project of first. It was the first public housing community developed in the city of Pawtucket. It was the first rental assistance demonstration or RAD deal done with the Housing Authority in Rhode Island. It was the first historic public housing community submitted to the National Register for historic tax credits in Rhode Island and probably only one of two or three in the, in the country. It was the first community to use the state's Rebuild Rhode Island credit and maybe this will be the first public housing roadie that we can add to our list of firsts.